Anthony brings up the concept of mentoring. Is that a good practice to try and follow? I see everybody nodding. Um, I'll go to you first, Chris. I mean, I would say yes. I mean, I, uh, even my dad, he grew up in Jamaica, and one of the things is you needed a trade. You know, you needed yeah. to be a, an apprenticeship for a trade. And things like that, I think, you know, would help because at the end of the day, they'll have knowledge of doing something that probably even they themselves never thought they would be able to accomplish, right? So, I mean, getting mentorships or, you know, apprenticeships or, you know, teaching kids trades, you know, things of that nature, I think would be a good idea. Well, but because when you do that, I'm, I'm thinking, uh, when, you, when you do that, you put something else in that kid's head about a hopeful future. Okay. Getting a trade, making some decent money, doing what you want, because money just means independence in a certain way from mm. this, that, and the other thing. You put those kinds of things in a young person's head, and maybe the gun stuff fades away a bit, because suddenly that young man, usually a young man, has some better ideas about how to deal with his life. And it doesn't even have to be youth. I mean, a lot of people that I work with, yeah, they're yeah. former, you know, inv involved with that kind of lifestyle. And, uh, you know, I show them a different path that, you know, you can express yourself through art or music. And a lot of them, they start getting interested in this art form. And they just basically spend all their time just involved in trying to make themselves better. And they're just too preoccupied to even be, being involved in anything negative. How, that's interesting. How, how, how worthwhile is that kind of uh, uh, practice where you try to turn somebody from a life of crime or, or uh, packing a gun or being in a gang or, or selling drugs? Uh, turning them into something that's going to be a whole lot more successful for them and maybe better for the whole community. And yeah, you have to show them the re realistic options and uh, you know, give them a positive experience. A lot of people, you know, they, they don't want to just work at a you know, regular low-grade job. They want to have a yeah. real you know, aspirations for something grander. And if you show them the path and the way they can do these things, then uh, you know, they'll t people in Jane and Finch, they have this uh, street smart entrepreneur spirit. And unfortunately, a lot of it's always, you know, going in the wrong direction. But if you harness it and make it go in the right direction, then a lot of, a lot of people are successful, have become successful, you know, coming out of Jane Finch. Sue so Chen, you agree with that? I do. And I think that would also have a ripple effect. Those people that have changed can also mentor um, younger youth and um, guide them in the right path because they've made the mistake and they can speak from their own They'd experience. They'd be really effective advocates, exactly. wouldn't they? Yeah. Because they say, hey, I've been there. Mm -hmm. I've been there. Look where, look where you're heading. Look how I turned it around, right? Exactly. And it's all just, uh, you know, being given an opportunity. And I can, yeah. I can attest to that in my own experience that, uh, you know, when I was just starting out the website, you know, I really wasn't sure what I was going to do. But then there was a gentleman by the name of Dwight Drummond, who's uh, now a famous CBC anchor. <laughs> yes. That guy was, uh, you know, he's another guy from the neighborhood. And That's he, right. he was one of the first uh, reporters to basically give, uh, do a story on my website, and it just opened up so many doors. So I have to uh -huh. uh, thank him a lot. And it's a uh, thing well, like that. Well, that's proof positive of how these things can work. And that's what the website's trying to do, is to create yeah. opportunities for the next generation. Yeah, yeah. Here's Mary calling from uh, Jane and Finch.